wanna fix on a house back again with another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, on my latest preview, I made a few explosions on Cinema 4D and internal SFD uh, using X particles as a as the emitter for the for the starting of the explosion. And uh, now I'm going to show you how to make this uh, explosion uh, from scratch uh, on a few steps. So uh, I'm going to try to make uh, the base for the explosion, and then on the final, uh, I'm going to try to make uh, just a more elaborated uh, explosion. Uh, with a few settings that you can, uh, can that you can customize uh, after the whole base is done. So uh, first thing you're going to need is a thermal safety and also cinema uh, X particles uh, version 2.5 or any version could do this. So uh, jump on your cinema for the let's start the project. So I'm also going to put this uh, file that you see here that was on the on the preview for the the latest uh, explosions that I did on YouTube. And I'm going to set this on a folder for you guys to download and if you want to test this out uh, on your own. So uh, let's just uh, start a new project and let's go. So I'm going to make a new project and the first thing I'm going to add on this is uh, just an X particle system. On this X particle system I'm going to put a basic setup and I'm going to start uh, organizing my emitter uh, to make uh, the explosion to, to be driven for thermal safety. So, uh, I have my emitter over here. If I press play, you see that my particles uh, shoot out this on this way. So um, I will need to have the explosion join up to to up. So I'm going to, on the object over here. I'm going to my emitter shape. I'm going to put this on a circle, and I'm going to put the emitter plane on uh, plus y. Yeah, plus y. So if I press play, you see that my particles are already shooting up. And uh, it's starting to, to look equal. So um, also on this cone, hang, uh, cone angle, I'm going to put this on 45. So we can have like a, like a different shoot. Like so, this can uh, draw up uh, on the sides, and uh, it's good to go. So um, now what I need to do. So uh, if you see over here, we have uh, our explosion, and it goes. And it's drawing like for all the frames and all that stuff. So um, I'm going here on the emission. I'm going to start adjusting this, so we can have the, the explosion to 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 drag to thermal safety. So um, we could put this on the right, but uh, if you put this on the on the pulse, sorry, if you put this on the pulse, you see that you have one, two, three, and you see they have a uh, explosion settings on 30 frames you set an explosion. So we're going to do this uh, on an easiest way. We're going to put this to right again and uh, on the middle frames we're going to put this only to frame 10 and the lifespan put it on about 8 frames. This should be cool and I'm going to put the speed a little bit up to 1050 and I'm going to put my byte rate to around 5000 particles. That should be good for the start, and uh, and any project uh, should be run this uh, very easy. So if you see over here, we already have our explosion, and it's looking cool to drag on to thermal safety. So have our explosion up here. Then we're going to make a few adjustments so that we have thermal safety over here. So part for X particles uh, base is done. And now we're going to start adjusting and uh, setting up thermal safety. So, on the, over here, I'm going to grab my plugins. I'm going to put a thermal safety container. And as you see, the arc container is a little bit small. So, we're going to push this a little bit up. So, on the container, first thing I'm going to do so uh, this voxel size will increase. Uh, if you put the level lower, you have more resolution. If you put higher, you have uh, less resolution. But um, it's easy to to work out uh, for this tutorial. So I'm going to put this on three, and the grid size over here that is the size of the container. I'm going to put this to around 900 here, 1000, and over here on 900 again. So just so we can have like a big box, so our fluid can. Uh, can jump around over here. So I'm going to this view, just going to set this a little bit over here. I'm going to grab my thermal safety container, I'm going to push it a little bit up on this so we can have all this space 
for the for the tables uh, at the exposure. Looking cool. So uh, now I can start uh, just customizing all this stuff to start our animations on the Thermos FT. So over here, all is good. And now I'm going to start on the simulation. So uh, just going to close all this because I've done some things before, and I'm going to explain you this in a few steps uh, how you can make like a simple explosion very fast and very easy. So uh, first thing I'm going to need is the burn for the beginning. Uh, so we can have like the, that red yellow explosion. I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to set the decay for the burn on around 10. It's okay. Also I'm going to need fuel and also some density and temperature is okay. And now this is the part where I'm going to, to start and uh, see where my fluids uh, are going to stop. So uh, this cooling, I'm going to put this on 10. The buoyancy, I'm going to put this on 60. And uh, over here on the density, I'm going to put this dissipation to around 10. That should be cool. So over here on the simulation, it's good to go for the start. Also the turbos and the particity, I'm going to put that a little bit later. And on the viewport preview, I set this to temperature and the shader to the smoke shader. That's okay. Here you can also increase uh, the quality of the, of the smoke, but I'm going to do that on the end. Because uh, now I'm going just to organize uh, just a short animation in the base, so you can uh, set up an explosion uh, very easy. So, uh, Almost good to go. So going here on the rendering, I'm going to generalize OK. On the smoke shader, I will need temperature and the separate opacity. I'm going to put this on density. And over here for the color of our smoke, I'm going to put this a little bit more white and this one a little bit more dark. So we can have a cool contrast on our smoke. So subgrade detail, we're going to leave that for the end. And illumination we don't need. And the fire shader, we're going to put this on burn. So we can have uh, the explosion, like on red and yellow stuff uh, going on. So uh, separate opacity, I'm going to put this on density. And this should be good to go for the first simulation. What I'm going to do now over here is going to drag uh, attack over here, that's a thermal safety tag on our emitter because our emitter is going to to drive the explosion for thermal safety. So the thermal safety will grab the the particles that are going to set up on the emitter and it is going to transform them on smoke. So that's very awesome. Over here on the radius, I'm going to put this on one for now. This should be almost good to go. So on temperature variable, I'm going to put this on around 8. Density I'm not going to put now. And also the fuel put it on 3. And the burn on 2. And we should be ready to start uh, the first simulation on our fluid. And just to see how this is going on. So we can have make a few adjustments on the end. And then uh, it should be ready to go. So I'm going to plugins, thermal safety, and simulation window. Let's make a simulation. As you see, uh, with the tree uh, of the of the container, uh, you 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 have a, a fast render of this, and you can uh, organize all your simulations uh, with that size. And uh, when when you have uh, your simulation done, you can uh, you can then uh, start adjusting that stuff, and uh, and wait a few hours. Or a few minutes to have a more quality uh, explosion on this. So um, we already have this sour explosion over here. It's a little bit, as you see, can zoom in on this. And as you see, if you press play over here, you see that the particles shoot out. And that's it. That's um, the first place uh, for the explosion. So. Now you can start adjusting a lot of stuff on this. Um, uh, as you see, if you go here on the beginning, we see that you have uh, this exploding. 
and the wind you go up here. You see that already have only smoke on this. So this is uh, probably the just the base point for you to start an, an explosion on Turbo FD and, uh, and X particles. And now I'm going to, to show you how you can uh, customize and uh, which which settings you can customize to have a, a cooler thing on this. So I um, hope uh, we can make a cool stuff on this. So first thing I'm going to my container over here. Everything's okay. I'm going to put this on the simulation. I'm going to set up a little bit of thermos, like around 60. And on the density here it's okay this dissipation is cool and what I'm going to do here on the rendering is just increase a little bit more density on this so I'm going to put this on 10 and okay snap shader that's okay subgrid detail illumination by shader and we can go over here on the simulation you have to look for our density so we can have this a little bit okay so density temperature we need the, the density for this uh, not feel port so on the container this is on trade school and the simulation we have a little bit of vorticity that we can change we'll put this to 30 wind and that are not going to mix this and the turbulence temperature that's okay and it's okay so I'm going over here on the system now I'm going to put a turbulence on this so the, the particles like uh, get a little bit more wavy and stuff over here I'm going to put the strength around 40 42 and put this on curve and let's just make another simulation to see where are we going okay see that your particles already have a little bit uh, different thing and uh, you should be just going to stop this just to see how the explosion is going it's a little bit more different, but we need more density on over here and a little bit of pressure. So we can have like uh, those big bubbles uh, blowing it up on that. So uh, over wind, vorticity, container, we should be going over here. Just put some like three, three over here and just bring some pressure around. 150 on pressure over here. Let's, let's just try to make another simulation on this. It's okay. See, you already have uh, the smoke more thick but, and uh, a little bit different. And this is all the settings that, that you can change and uh, customize to make a different explosion or to make a more quality explosion. So uh, it's okay, it's just for showing purposes. And if you see over here, you see that you already have this, uh, this almost mushroom cloud. And it's looking cool, so uh, now you can have uh, a lot of difference on this. So uh, if I go over here and I put around 50,000 particles on the explosion, and the go over here on the container and try another simulation and see which the difference this is so you see that if you increase a lot more particles you'll have more uh, more density of the of the, the spoke without uh, the without the, without making nothing uh, here on the density of the thermal safety container so uh, this is uh, driven by x particle particles so uh, I think it's a really cool tip that you can make here uh, and cinema for the nx particles and um, let me just try to make a few more adjustments on this so you can have a cooler thing. So I'm not going to explain about uh, illumination and rendering settings because uh, I think you already know. But if you don't know, uh, we have some cool tutorials and uh, explain you how to make a basic setting for, 
for some lights and for some studios and all that stuff. So I, I was just trying to uh, to help you make a, a place for a simple explosion and a simple simulation uh, with explosions on cinema 4D and thermal safety and uh, and X particles. So I'm you enjoying this tutorial. So I'm going just over here to our thermal uh, thermal safety container again, and I'm going to put this to this is turbulence to around 120 for TCD I'm going to leave this to 10 and I'm going to put the intensity challenge, uh, channel for density and also the turbulence to density and here you can also put I'm going to drag this over here you can also just customize a little bit uh, the ramp for the for the turbulence uh, to make a, a little bit more color uh, uh, simulation and more more detailed so uh, over here it's okay and I'm going to also feel well uh, just checking out some some settings that you might you might find useful to to work out over here so I'm going to put this it's okay okay the wind is okay in the solver it's also okay you can increase this to have more quality and on the rendering we have a smoke shader you can also put a little bit of smoking over here like around five and also customize the curve for it and uh, on the over here you can also put probably the pressure to 200 and the radius for like around two just to see the difference now I'm gonna set up a new simulation and just check out how the, the simulation is going so uh, <coughs> and um, after this uh, you you can just uh, play along with the settings and the uh, uh, with all this stuff because um, if you want to make a very detailed explosion or a very detailed smoke uh, you should increase uh, uh, here a lot of the um, just to port this you can increase uh, or decrease this a lot so you can have a more detailed uh, more detailed uh, mesh as you see over here so if you make a render you have the smoke almost dissipated but um, it's like that I'm not explaining how you can render this and how you can make this very very pretty but um, the base setting for the explosion is this so if you want to just make another render just to make the same for all the thing just making this simulation I'm going to make wait I'm going to make a simulation with a little less particles so you can have the, the render to the end so I'm going to put this 1500 particles and let's zoom this again. Okay, let's start a new simulation. <laughs> now we have our smoke. <coughs> so we have our smoke, and uh, before frame 90, the smoke's already uh, dissipated and out uh, of your animation. So uh, I think it's a cool tip. So uh, now uh, depends on you and how to make um, this with uh, your settings and with your time uh, working on the this tip so uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the tutorial hope you guys keep following up our stuff in here at affection house and um, uh, keep uh, making your stuff and uh, leave your comment down there uh, if you like this so uh, see you in another tutorial or another client project guys and uh, big thanks for watching and uh, see you soon cheese